Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is my channel for those of you who are just finding me. My name is Michelle. Uh, please do click subscribe below and help the channel grow. And also click that bell so you get notifications of when I go live. I go live pretty much every morning now. So it's really cool, awesome, in in interesting daily energy uh, reading. And then um, we exchange and then I'll answer some questions if you want to shout them out to me. But this is for the zodiac sign of Libra for the week of October 4th through about the 15th in and around those dates. A little bit, uh, there's a little bit of leeway on both sides. If you are on a platform that allows for commercials, expect a commercial in a couple of seconds. Know that your patience donates generously to the channel just by letting the commercial run. So go pee, go grab a snack, whatever you wanna do, watch the commercial, <laughs> it's up to you. But I will be back in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who just waited through an awkward pause. I thank you so much. For those of you who uh, actually sat through a commercial, please do know that that does contribute to the health of the channel and allows me to actually work this, uh, work this channel and put full-time attention into it. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, there's a lot of information in the description box below. You'll find things like the link to the extended Vimeo reading that links from this. I do a full tarot card spread and a Whispers of Love romance reading over on Vimeo. That's an extension of this reading. So if you're interested, that link is down below. But right now, let's get into your weekly, uh, weekly predictions, Libra. Let's see, using my... Um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And if you're interested in the deck, all those links are below as well. This is this is my this is one of my favorite decks, Spirit Animal Oracle. And this is what I do every single Oracle reading uh, weekly with. So yes, this is an Oracle reading, not a tarot reading. The tarot readings are over on Vimeo. They're extensions of this Oracle reading, just so that everybody is on the same page. Um, I will timestamp this, Libra, just so that you guys know. Uh, 2.15... I'll start it at, in case you want to skip all those introductions. This energy is for the sign of Libra. October 4th through the 15th, this week ahead. What are we looking at for the zodiac sign of Libra? What are we looking at for the zodiac sign of Libra? Libra, 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 Libra. Libra, October 4th to the 15th. What are the messages that need to come through for Libra? What are the messages that need to come through for Libra? Sun, moon, and rising sign. Use it where it applies in your life. What are the messages that need to come through for Libra? Turn knowledge into wisdom. There's a wolf in your midst, Libra. There's somebody who, this is a general energy, this is an energy of somebody who's very loyal though. But it's, it's matured loyalty. And I don't think this is somebody that necessarily has announced themselves to you completely yet. But this is definitely a person. I felt it immediately. It's somebody who's got you in their sights. It's somebody who is thinking about you a great deal, who honestly thinks very good things of you but it is somebody who is admiring you from afar. It's somebody who um, is watching you. It's not a totally unknown presence, okay? This could be energies from, oh, it could be an angel watching over you, absolutely. It could be an ancestor or relative that's passed that's watching over you. Um, it could be the spirit realm, but I feel like it's, It's almost like it's it's a, it's almost like this energy Libra is divinely guided. It's a it's um. There there's somebody who's supposed to come into your life. Somebody who has the energy of destiny, aura of destiny around them, in terms of them being in your life. It's somebody who has a lot of wisdom, who is like I said matured and knows exactly what they want. 
and has pinpointed something that you are or something that you're engaged in, involved in, as something that they want. I wouldn't say they're necessarily predatory. Wolf is definitely a predator, absolutely. But this is more, they've established you almost as an equal, as somebody that they want to work with. This would almost be a male wolf, an alpha wolf, looking for its alpha female. Masculine and feminine energies can be swapped, of course. But this is almost the energy Libra of the alpha male wolf having picked out his his female wolf, his alpha female, his mate. So this is definitely the energy of somebody looking for a mate, not somebody looking for food. Now, what does that mean? Does it have to be romance? No, it's an admiration of, I want to work with you. I want to collaborate with you. This is an energy of, we've recognized Libra as somebody that we want. We want, we want them, we want them. We want to, yeah, we want them in our presence, but we also want them... We want to work with them. We want to um, 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 con conspire, <sighs> collaborate with them. That's the whole, that's what I mean by mating. It, it, now, it could literally be a mating for you, but also, Libra, it is just collaboration. Somebody has deemed you as worthy, as something they would want to combine parts of themselves with. Like I said, this could be somebody who has distinguished you as, um, I want to represent you, or I want to hire you, or, but it's definitely you have been distinguished. This is the problem. There is a disconnect. There is a, there is a, there's a message disconnect that I'm feeling when it comes to this energy, Libra. In other words, it has, it's not coming through. It's not announced yet. And I don't know why it's not announced yet. Let me see. Because two more other cards fell out. Okay, and they're both upside down. There is something here that has gotten flipped. In other words, if you are waiting on information, Libra, uh, nothing is wasted. Something absolutely was wasted. Or it's taking longer than it should. This message of delivery, of understanding the value of what you can contribute has been delayed. Um, it just feels like there's some sort of message delay for you. There's like a, an energy of people got distracted on stupid shit. People got caught up with other people or other individuals. Maybe they gave this job offer to somebody else first because their resume said things that they wanted to hear or they said things that they the person, the interviewer wanted to hear in the interview or like some there's an energy like that like in other words there was shallow shit that they based their first decisions on and libra you're coming through loud and clear as what is is true as a truth but but that wasn't that that got not that it wasn't good enough it got distracted you know it's like almost like beauty was overshadowed shadowed by glamour you know beauty and glamour aren't the same thing and this is the sign of love and this is a sign of beauty. This is, that's what Libra season is, beauty. But beauty is a sunrise, okay? Not a makeup artist, right? It's not lights, camera, action. That's glamour. This is beauty. This is the, the, the sunlight sparkling on the waves. This is something that, that is natural, that is, is, is truth, like I said. And there was just distraction. There was a lot of distraction. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like Vulture was a little bit too high in himself and decided he just he was only going to eat filet mignon and was tapping his banging his head into the window of uh, the supermarket trying to get to the filet mignon instead of looking at the the bounty of whatever whatever it is roadkill and <laughs> yes in this scenario <laughs> shit I'm sorry Libra not that you're roadkill but that it's it's almost like he was distracted like he, somebody was distracted by sort of being too high on themselves or being too ambitious or they were just distracted by glamour, by, by curb appeal. And they didn't look at the bounty that they had in front of them. And that's why you kept getting overlooked. Watch and wait. I think somebody was very, very frivolous when it came to you, Libra. They didn't, they didn't take their patience. They were rushing. In other words, they wanted, not only did were they attracted to the shiny and sparkly stuff, which is usually you, in other words, though, but your beauty, you have a lot of beauty about you. They were very caught up in all these other things of like, 
you know, of, of uh, how, I, I don't know, whatever, whatever, dude. They were caught up in a ton of shit, Libra. They were caught up and, and it was because they wanted to rush the decision. And they're like, okay, this one looks good. And it flashed and it was bright and shiny. And so it got their attention first. And they went and they tried to go and figure, and then when they finally reached out to it, what they found was they were chewing on plastic. They didn't actually find a diamond. They were chewing on a rhinestone. They were chewing on a plastic bead. And it was a foolish decision. It was a rash decision. It was a decision made in haste and kind of arrogance. And that's why, Libra, you were kind of passed over. There's a wisdom and a truth that's cutting through now, Libra, in your season that is sort of bringing people's attention back to you. It's not that you would, it's not that this, in other words, it's not like this offer or this opportunity would come out of the blue to you, but you have probably forgotten about it at this point. Like, that's what I'm saying to you. You have probably completely and totally put it out of your mind because you're like, well, you know, it wasn't worth your time. You had other stuff to talk. You had other stuff to think about, certainly other stuff to uh, concern yourself with, and you put it out of your mind, but the truth is that you and, and what you have about you, this week is sort of just, there's an unveiling of you. It's almost like, it's almost like in this whirlwind of crazy, like shallowness and rush, people were throwing clothes all around and you got buried in the pile. It's not like you disappeared. It's just that you be, you weren't easy to see because they were too kind of greedy and, and, and voracious when it came to like, I want this, I want this, I want this. Like almost picture their mentality. Originally having been like, if you've ever seen like those, those, um, you know, like uh, shopping sales or like, you know, those um, sales at the, the bridal sales, at a, think about a sale at the bridal shop, you know, where everything's marked down to 500 bucks and people are ripping and tearing and, and, and punching each other to get to it. It's almost like Black Friday mentality where people are just so after greedy things, like shallow things. They're not really looking really, they're not really looking for those gems that are probably right in front of their face or they're on the rack, but maybe they didn't have, they weren't as sparkly or they weren't as shiny. And so they're not going to get caught by the attention of people, you know, they're not going to catch the people's attention, the people who are looking for an easy out. And that's what I want to bring your attention to is that Libra, the person who's finally discovered you, who finally has found you. Um, who, who will be reaching out to you or connecting with you, making an offer with you over this next week. This is somebody who doesn't have eyes like that. They see, these are eyes that see spirit. So maybe it was the best for the best that all those other idiots kind of passed you by because this opportunity that that's coming in for you this week is somebody who's too wise for that kind of bullshit. Somebody who is, you can see, they, they see very clearly you know, it's there. They're very, very intuitive. There's a very intuitive connection. There's a very emotional connection with them. Um, there is a sense of, you know, uh, Pisces got this card last week. Pisces got this card last week and I called it howl at, howl at the moon because wolves are connected to this moon energy. And I feel like they are connected to it because wolves are connected, very closely connected to source energy. And they've always been a, a source of, I'll actually attach the Pisces reading up above. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or your competition was a Pisces. And now it's almost like you, you're getting back to, you're getting the attention from these this individual that basically arrives after all the crowds have diminished like dispersed because he's not stupid. He wouldn't go shopping on Black Friday. He he wouldn't he wouldn't deal in that foolery. He he wants to see he wants to have a clear view. He doesn't want to be caught up in some fuss or some hullabaloo. This is a very steady energy, a grounded energy and a loving energy. It's also a very sexual energy. 
there's a feeling of Scorpio and this could speak to Scorpio energy on the rise this week, like coming into dawning we're, you know, you know, get it, we're getting prepared for a Scorpio, a new moon in Scorpio on the 28th of this month. Yes. We're at the, we're just in the beginning of Libra season, but it could be something very clearly coming through that, that is going to be prominent in, in Scorpio season that is finally realizing and seeing you now. This is almost like their preemptive sighting and their eyes are on you. I want to pull a few more Oracle cards, um, Libra, for you. What is this, gen this energy is about this? What is this energy about for, for Libra? For Libra? For Libra? Okay. Okay. So be fearless and bold. This is speaking to your confidence level. And I think this is a very Libran card because, because you are very confident when it comes to how you look. You're very confident when it comes to your beauty and the way that people understand you and see you. Anytime I see any kind of like daffodils or flowers or what is it? A black eyed Susans. I think of California energy. You know, so maybe Libra, this is your attempt at a big old breakthrough. Maybe, maybe you're an actor or a performer or somebody sending out resumes or headshots. And finally, somebody is taking notice of your very, very unique charm. This is, this is somebody noticing your very, your uniqueness and, and noticing the value in your uniqueness. You have, you are somebody with an avant-garde personality, Libra, somebody who doesn't, um, take the standard route, somebody who will try new things before other people try them. You have this air of the unconventional about you, Libra. And that's what people are taking notice of and finding a great deal of beauty in, in that it can't be found in many other places. This is something very unique to you. And it may have taken them some time to see you, but they've definitely spotted you. And that's what they admire about you is that there, yes, there's an obvious beauty to you, but there's a uniqueness to that beauty. There's sort of a, a sense of, it's like, listen, um, Badger spirit, Badger doesn't ask to be black and white. His colors are his colors. He was born that way. So baby, this is, this is you, this is you were born this way, Libra. And, um, and yeah, yeah, the, just this energy of you knowing yourself. I don't think that your, your energy, Libra, was never compromised. You aren't compromised. It's everybody else's sort of brain that was comp compromised. They weren't, they weren't getting it. They weren't seeing the value where it was. And now you just kind of come through sort of just doing what you were always doing and really loving your life. I really feel like you almost got over this situation kind of forgot about it. Like you weren't going to put, like I said in earlier, you forgot about it and you really felt this razzle dazzle and maybe that's it. You've grown and you've developed and you've even added onto your skill or your talent or what you can do. It's like you revised and you edited or you went and you got some new clothes and you have a new look and you redesign things and all of those things are you you did because they're of interest to you because you love them because you were interested in them and now it's like all eyes are on you you did right in other words what you redesigned is getting people's attention what you um what you what the new ideas that you were trying to share people are now like all about it's almost like they're deer in headlights for you who is just sort of like have this confidence so what a wonderful time for you libra to actually just like to just to, for, for you to just be you um uh yeah for you to be prepared for you to have you know decided to disengage with people's opinions a while ago and then re-engage with your sense of of appeal uh, it, yeah, whatever was interesting to you. I just keep hearing interesting coming back and, and people are finding you very, very intriguing now. Um, uh, yep. Embrace the in-between. See, that's what you did. 
This is the energy that you applied to yourself, Libra. And this is also the energy of great beauty. There's an awkwardness about flamenco, but remember, flamenco is a very balanced animal, which makes it perfect for this time of year and your sign. Flamenco balances on, they stand on one leg. They don't even need the other one. They're very unique animals for their color and their stance and the look of themselves. Like This is like almost like, People were looking for somebody that looked like this, and that's why they overlooked the person that looked like this. They're like, oh, what is that? We don't get it, we don't understand it, we just want this. But Libra, you show a grand beauty, a, a developed beauty that other people, it was harder for them to understand. And I just keep seeing black and white, black and white. It's almost like they were colorblind. It's, that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Somebody had to almost like, be colorblind to see how unique you are, to see how special you are because the colors were blinding everybody else. But you bring this unique sense of beauty and flash to, um, to the sight of somebody who, who, who also has a unique way of seeing things. So the person on the other side of the camera from you, well, the person seeing, noticing you, they're also very intriguing. They're also somebody who has a unique way of looking at the world, and that's why they found you. They were able to find you. You were the perfect color palette, or lack thereof, for their eyes to perceive. It's almost like you were hidden in plain sight, Libra. This is B spirit dripping in honey. So this is my success card. This is Leo. This is Leo, but Leo in the sense of, of feeling good about yourself and be feeling happy about who you are and having a sense of pride, not just pride. Yeah. Well, pride, but having a sense of self-worth that now you're dripping in like people, like abundance is coming in. This is the honey is dripping all over you. So this is the sun comes out. This is the sun card. This is triumph. This is finally Libra. This week, you're going to see some motion and some movement in your life and abundance coming in. So there's a lot of uh, prosperity. There's a lot of happiness coming into you this week. There's just um, success, but it's, it's natural success. It's, it's, in other words, there's sincerity to it. There's, there's, this isn't like false this isn't glamour. This is just triumph and this is just victory. Um, wow, this is really interesting. So what I, what I don't know, what I, what I want to do over on Vimeo is I'm going to go uh, and do a tarot card reading over this to see more specifics about what if this is a relationship, what if this is a job offer, what might be the job offer that I'm talking about or the person in particular that I'm talking about, all of those, all of that I'll get into in tarot if you want to join me over on Vimeo. And we'll also do a romance spread as well. Um, thank you so much for watching, Libra. Please do like this video, share this video, recommend this channel, help us grow. I appreciate it and I hope to see you on the daily.